So, welcome back to part 3, I think. Save it. And our new version. And now we want to add in the materials, which shouldn't be too confusing. But if it is, I understand it. Um, but I hope it isn't. So, now we want to add in just a few more slots right in here. And just select the uh, material top right in here. In each slot and we need it 10 times. So, 7, 8, 9 as you see here, 10 and I think one more times because we have a faked user, so 11. Now just add a new material for each one and set it to a fake user, just to be safe. So, uh, uh, um, yeah, each one have, has its own name. So, we need that to actually give each segment its own material. So, this one is top, this one is left underscore up dot zero zero zero. So, we assign left underscore up. Now I want to have right underscore up dot zero 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 and you can name that as you want but just make it so you know which one is what. This one is middle dot zero 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 and assign the middle that one is right underscore no, left underscore down dot zero 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 and I again I add that dot zero 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 to actually uh, or not to actually to I add that dot zero zero so when I make a new material it gets dot zero zero one which we will need um, when we uh have different numbers so just more than one and that one is let's see that one is right underscore down dot zero 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 and that one is just bottom dot zero 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 and I forgot that we just have eight segments and not ten. So we actually need just uh, eight materials. So now we should have assigned each one to its own part. Yeah, it looks like. And each one is a new material, so yeah, that works. And now we can keep going on with the travel setup. So, and hopefully I can make that now a little bit more clear for you why I add all these numbers here. And that's actually to control which segment lights up at which value. So for example, this top segment, which is that one, lights up at zero, far zero, but not at one. So we del delete that far one. It lights at two, at three, and not at four, as you see here. Just think about it. And at the rest it does. And we can delete that, so 1 and 4, 
one and four so we have a smaller list down here and now the next so left up or left underscore up left up is that one here and that lights at zero not at one because these are the right ones right ones so deleted one also delete it down here uh, it doesn't light up at 2 and at 3 so delete these two it lights up at 4 at 5 at 6 and not at 7 so delete that one and just look up here and you will understand it so 0 4 5, 6, 7. Delete 7. So, and now the right up, which is that one. It lights up at 0, at 1, at 2, at 3, at 4, at 5. Not, so we delete it. Not at 6. And at the rest it does so five and six five and six and hopefully you understand that now so these uh, let's see which one is that middle it doesn't light up at zero it doesn't at one Let's see, at 2 it does, at 3 it does, at 4 it does, at 5 it does, at 6 it does, it doesn't, at 7, and at the rest it does. So delete 7. And just go carefully through that, and then it should work at the first time. So at 1 it doesn't, at 2 it doesn't, or it does, at 3 it doesn't. At 4 it doesn't, at 5 it doesn't, at 6 it does, at 7 it doesn't, at 8 it doesn't, or it does, and at 9 it doesn't. So just keep 0, 2, 6 and 8, 0, 2, 6 and 8. And you see it makes sense to delete the unnecessary uh, actually, well, let's see, 9 as well. Uh, you see it actually makes sense to delete that one you don't need because now the list is just way smaller. So, just two more to go. And this is one is the right on the thing, right underscore down. Uh, at 1, at 2 it doesn't. At 3 it does, at 4 it does, at 5 it does, at 6, at 7, at 8, at 9. And actually I just pressed control. Oh, I didn't press enter, so I just get back. So. Uh, and now here. And this one is the bottom, I think, yeah. Uh, so not at 1. At 2 it does, at 3 at 4 it doesn't. And 7 it doesn't. So let's see. F 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 and 7. So. And now. Uh, bu -bu Let's see the properties, open them, and now you should see at zero, just the zero segments, at one, just a one, at two, just a two, at three, just a three, at four, just a four, at five, just a five, at six, just a six, at seven, just a seven, at 8 just the 8 and at 9 just the 9. 
so 10 minutes so we can do something more and yeah you see that already works and we could already use that just animate that by hand but we have a slider and we want to use that of course so we uh, try to get the drivers now to work but actually first because there are only four minutes left I think or around four minutes so I want to do the car really quick so it's uh, uh, um, let's see under the top material the color yeah so these are four no three sliders for the color and actually just have the number eight and when we control these here we get a different color but we want to make that with um driver setup now again so select this arrow here and make the properties window bigger and just add three variables call it red green and blue so now we can control these values so it's variable so this one here it's a single property in the object slider and it's red and actually update it really quick and it's at one. Oh, let's see at 0 0.994 uh, do the same thing here single property in the slider and red green and you can also just say copy that above but I will type that in them and now that one variable turn a uh, single property slider and red green and blue so select that one and just update the render by pressing shift C again and you see we get some different colors just by adjusting it in that slider here with the properties and also the strength. So that's it for that part. I hope I see you in part 4 I think. And yeah if you don't understand something maybe I will explain it in the next part. Um, or you just ask it in the comments. Yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel to see more of that complicated stuff or give me a thumb up. Share that video, like it, and I hope I see you next time.